Hey, it's Melanie. Welcome back to Lindsay Maker Homestead. Today we have been out and about all day. We had a birthday party to attend. Um, had to run and grab a few things at the grocery store, and while we were there, of course, I had to go to the we plant have section. Baby goats. I know we have baby goats. Here in the grass. <laughs> Um, of course, I went to the plant section and found some new flowers to hang on the side of the deck. They are annuals, so they will die back. But the perk of these is that they were $10 originally. And because they had some dead on them, uh, they marked them off to $5. So I got all of my flowers for the front of the house um, for 20 bucks. We also got this lavender plant, um, which looks dead, but it is a perennial, so it will come back. And it ended up being $2. Well worth it. Don't forget to look in those sections. And they are beautiful. I'm so excited about these. So, $5 for each pot. We got four of them, a little variety of colors. And for the last few days, I have taken some of that mulch and I've actually dug out the uh, a spot for these bricks. And I have laid these bricks down put some of that mulch in because it's cedar so it can't really go in my chicken run um so i repurposed it and we're gonna end up adding lattice and things like that making it just you know pretty so it's a slow progress but we do have the other side uh to do as well over here uh, we haven't really done too much other than that in the last few days because I have a brace on my wrist. My whole hand was numb and it was like, um, like it fell, fell asleep. Um, I'm sure a lot of people have, you know, had that happen to them before, but it just started to become a consistent thing. And I did some research and I, you know, obviously talked to <clears throat> talked to Dr. Google about it and I was like oh early onset stroke and I was like um no like it's 100% not that did a little bit more research and luckily that I've got carpal tunnel um just from the repetitive shoveling that I've been doing and digging and you know yard work so I have tried to kind of take it easy the last few days um <laughs> and it's it's not easy to take it easy and the reason why is because it's you know we're, we're on the cusp of spring it is spring and we're on the cusp of getting some things in the ground and I have a lot of stuff that I really just you know I want to do out here and it's, it's gonna require some manual labor so it has been storming like crazy, y'all. Look at those clouds coming in. It's probably not picking up great on camera, but it's been pretty dark, you know, here. It's one of those where, like, you, you know, you go to one side of your yard and it's, like, pitch black, and the other side, like, it looks sunny. That's kind of what's been going on today. But, um, I am doing just our normal check-in on our animals i swear y'all sometimes i look at a, a stick in the yard and i'm like it's a snake <laughs> it's not there i just scheduled myself another eye doctor appointment so <laughs> so i could see a little bit better um my big like black rim glasses that i absolutely love and i've had for years um my kids said the cap broke them. I'm gonna let y'all let that like sink in. Um, so hopefully we'll get us some 
new glasses here soon um, that aren't um, broken and actually are the correct subscription. It is starting to rain. But it's so nice. Um, I'm going to try to run and get these animals in their shelter and then hopefully we can get back to work tomorrow. Y'all have a great day. Happy homesteading.